So Blake, let's begin by talking about the very first Occupy Tampa. Yeah. Um, what gave you the idea for it and tell us what happened. Uh, well, the idea actually came from, you know, I was watching the Occupy Wall Street thing going on in New York and I just decided that I wanted to see if something like that was possible here in Tampa. So I got on Facebook, I talked to a couple people, you know, that I knew that were interested in the protests and stuff going on that said they would want to come out. And so we started a Facebook page and just decided to show up the next day on uh, the 24th. So the Facebook page started, you're saying the 23rd, which was a Friday. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty late in the evening, afternoon, and, you know, by 10 a.m. the next day we had 10 people show up, so it was kind of a, a big turnout for something that was planned in all of eight hours. Ten people came out. What did they do when you, when you got, where was it, first of all? It was in downtown Tampa. Where was it, and what did you guys do on that first Occupy Tampa? Thing? Yeah, well, because um, Occupy Wall Street was, at that time, in a park, we decided, you know, public park would be a good place to go. So uh, following their lead, we went to Likes Gaslight Park, the little downtown square there, because uh, it's right across the street from Bank of America and a couple other big things that you know were all part of the, the Occupy sentimentality. So uh, we chose that location. We just kind of showed up there and did, you know, we, we went sort of organically. We all had some cardboard and stuff, so we made some signs, and we all had some little flyers and stuff, so we handed them out. We all kind of knew why we were there, so we told everyone else what we were doing and, you know, kind of spread it like that and then, you know, just planned for the next week, planned for the next day, that sort of thing. And starting the next week, it started to grow really big. What happened with the Facebook page and the, uh, the, 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 the rallies, I guess, after that first day? It, it kind of grew exponentially. Um, up until October 6th, you know, we were seeing hundreds of people every single day, you know, sort of joining the, the page. And so we, we sort of teamed up with, they did the October 6th thing. Uh, so we joined up with those guys and sort of, there were some other groups around here participating in that. And then, you know, at that thing, I believe we had, there was over 6,000 people. And, you know, that, that you see a lot of uh, different types of people. So a lot of it was, you know, different groups coming together and, you know, not just the, the people coming out there for Occupy. There were a lot of other groups that I guess are still active that still, you know, it's still, they all showed up too. Why did you decide to get to, together with people and do this first Occupy Tampa protest? What was it for you that made Occupy important? Um, well, you know, it was just something I'd been seeing my entire childhood and, you know, throughout all of my adult life, my voting life and everything is just seeing, uh, you know, like the corporations becoming, you, where you see they're, they're getting more and more influence, more money getting channeled into politics, more people that are feeling disenfranchised because they don't have a million dollars to buy a, a commercial on TV so they don't really feel like their voice is heard. Uh, that sort of stuff. It, it really kind of got to me because I was seeing the effects of that locally, seeing a lot of my friends losing their jobs or uh, dealing with, you know, the effects of student loan debt and stuff like that. You know, you, student loans, uh, back when my parents were graduating, you know, it was, it was uncommon to graduate with more than like three or four thousand in loans and now the average student takes that out in a semester. And finally, after that first Occupy Tampa meeting, it grew, as you mentioned. What do you think about how it grew and how, how it became, uh, it evolved first essentially taking part of, of the sidewalk in front of Curtis Hickson and so on and how it, how it grew and evolved? Yeah, the evolution of Occupy was kind of, um, you know, it, it, it is its own sort of, it's its own baby, you know, it, it makes its own decisions and stuff like that. And watching it grow from just a few people in a park saying, let's do this again in a week, to regular meetings where people are coming out and saying, you know, I have this idea, I have this idea, there's, you know, I want to do this with my voice, with my vote, and that sort of thing. So you're seeing this conversation develop just from a small group of people into a very large uh, sort of organism that was that was always coming up with new and different sort of ideas that was good and I liked seeing that